Okay, here we have a 2020 Ram 3500 Dually with the 6.7 Cummings engine. Uh, right now we're doing the crankcase filter and we're just going to kind of go over the price of the crankcase filter, where you can get it, and what exactly the purpose of this crankcase filter is. So first off, the crankcase filter is not essentially the way I'm going to describe it. It's more like a... Uh, it's a filter that catches blow-by gases. It kind of acts as an oil catch can in a way where it catches the uh, the residual oil and, and other stuff that bypasses through the engine and just collects it inside a filter. So the new filter is going to look obviously white and kind of looks like rolls of toilet paper almost inside. Um, and it goes all the way back. And you can see this is a fleet guard. And we have a model number right there. Got this from Amazon for like 20 bucks. Now I know what you're saying is maybe the price is not, you know, it's questionable, but it's not because on the back, this is actually a legitimate Cummings product. Um, and it's right here. So it is a replacement part, way cheaper on Amazon than probably the dealer, just like anything else in the world. And we're just going to throw on a pair of gloves real quick and just look at the old filter real quick so you can see a solid comparison about how important changing this filter out on the top of your motor actually is. Uh, so this one, like I said, kind of acts as an oil catch can. Um, you can see residual oil on it. Inside it's absolutely disgusting and it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. Uh, that one being brand new, probably maybe a little less than a pound. This one feels like two pounds. It's got a lot of fluid and like a lot of uh, absorbed liquid inside so this is very very important to swap out uh, frequently with your your diesel engine um, so how do we get this off well it's actually very simple you're going to remove this cover which is just four bolts and those four bolts are located right here at the front you're going to have one right next to your oil pickup tube it's going to be right here the second one's going to be right here same on the other side third and same over here as a fourth. After that, you're gonna use an eight millimeter wrench. I just loosened them up with a ratchet, finished it off with my electric ratchet right here. Uh, a couple of them are gonna be, they're gonna be longer bolts, and that's for holding these wires in place uh, right here. So you're gonna see these little connectors that just snap on top of the bolts. I think it's kind of dumb that the longer ones are in back like this because you got the firewall in the way. Use a swivel. And a deep socket, usually about a quarter inch, and you'll be okay. Next, you crank, you take off the case. It's right there. I left the, uh, I left the sensor plugged in. Just flip it over, not a problem. You want to inspect this seal, make sure this seal is okay. My truck currently has thirty-six thousand miles on it. Still fairly new. This is the first filter swap, and I know it's a little overdue, but. It's, uh, it's looking okay. So after that, I'm actually gonna wipe down this inside area and just kind of get any dust and debris that was uh, maybe have fallen onto this platform after, from taking off this cover. Wipe this down, just kind of get all the oil and residual dust out of there. Insert the new filter as shown after I wipe this down too. And it's just gonna fit, you're gonna match the shape. So it's just gonna be fleet guard with the Cummings up. And it's just going to sit and you're going to give it a nice press until these bottom valves right here with these O-rings, make sure you have the O-rings, snap right into place in those slotted holes. And after that, you're going to reseal the engine, cover it up, bolt everything back down. Do not over tighten because you're going to be doing this frequently if you put a lot of miles on your truck. Uh, I use this for commercial purposes, so I will be doing this quite often. Uh, once this is all sealed up, you are all done. Hope this helps anybody that needed it. Just uh, minor things to look out for. Like I said, this is an Amazon filter. I got it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. It's a fleet guard. I'm not going to go to the dealership and pay 150 for it. You know, it's 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 obviously a Cummings filter. It's right here, 20 bucks. You know, same with this. Same with the air filter. They want like 60 bucks for the air filter. It's a Wix air filter that comes with the truck anyway. Go online, I can get three Wix air filters for 20 bucks, or not 20 bucks, 60 bucks. Three of them come in the mail for the price of one. You're good for 60,000 miles. So just, uh, you know, just things to think about and look out for. So, so far, we'll see how this one works. It looks, it's just an OEM replacement. It looks nice and clean, good to go. And uh, that's it. So I hope that helps.